Adam and Jamie are the Library Legend Busters for Harris County Public Library. In this episode, the Library Legend Busters will test five internet legends. Our first net legend is that everyone you meet online is who they say they are. In this experiment, I'm going to create a fake account under the name Rocky58. I'm on my favorite game site, Squirrelcraft, the ultimate battle for acorns. Hey look, this new kid named Rocky58 has just challenged me. <laughs> He took away all my acorns! Gosh! Rocky58 was actually me. I created a fake account and challenged you. So it was real easy for you to create a fake account and pretend to be someone else? There's no way of knowing who you're talking to because all you can see is the information the person chooses to share. Got it. Now that we busted that legend, can I have all my acorns back now? Our next net legend is that if something happens online that you think is weird or creepy, you should just forget about it and not tell your parents. This is an experiment, really. It's a story of what can happen to anybody. We are all on the social networking site. A social what working site? It's a website like MyFace. You know the one where you can post your pictures and then you can comment on other people's pages? Oh, I get it. Well, one day we were on MyFace and we got comments from this company offering us free MP3 players if we just send them our full name, phone number, and the city we live in. Jamie thought it was weird and decided not to tell her parents about it. But I told my parents about it. Whatever! Ow! <laughs> well, okay, we both told our parents. It turns out it was a total scam. There was this one kid that got the same email that we got, and he decided to send his name and all that other info. And the next day, a total stranger stopped by his school and tried to give him a ride home. So there you have it. I saw something weird online, and I told my parents about it. Oh, I mean, we told our parents about it. Our third net legend is that any info you put online about yourself is safe once you log off the computer. I'm going to one of my favorite sites to chat a bit, and then log off like the legend suggests. There. Now I'm going to log on from another computer and see if you can still see what I wrote. And there it is for the whole world to see. We've just busted this legend. Remember, once it's on the net, you can't get it off. In our fourth net legend, the team will test if clicking on strange links does any harm. I've created a website with fake links for Adam. Hmm. I'm bored. I think I'll check out this weird link. Man, what's up with this website? Anything you see on this screen is based on codes underneath that you can't see. Oh, snap. So when I'm clicking around, it could take me anywhere. Right, so that means this legend is busted. We'll put our legend busters to one final test. Unfortunately, testing this legend isn't practical, because there's no samples of an exploding computer virus. But we can test whether a power surge could cause an explosion. All we have to do is crank up the juice. Wow, that was weak. Yeah, we can't end a Legend Busters episode without an explosion. Well, give us some time and we can fix that! So while the team goes to work, let's fire off a few tips for your parents and guardians. Hey parents, here's some things you can try at home. Tip number one, be involved. Even if you're unfamiliar with the internet, ask your children to show you what they like to do. Tip number two, be careful that you do not post identifying information about your children. Tip number three, be aware. If someone online does harass your children, you can report them to your local authorities. And parents, if the incident involves sexual content, you can also report them to www.cybertipline.com. Now back to the legend of the virus that blew up my computer so I couldn't finish my homework. This legend's totally busted! So it's back to getting Butch to eat it. <laughs> but we still have to end this show with a bang. So we've hired a demolition expert to help us. What's up? My name's Pete from Pete's Pizza and Pyrotechnics. I found him online. He threw in the free pieces with the deal. Remember kids, if something looks too good to be true online, it probably is. What? So Pete, how's this go down? Well little dude, this is how it's gonna go down. I'm gonna press this red button and you're gonna run and take cover, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the monitor go? Up there, man. That isn't safe. 